Welcome back. A local family is desperately seeking help for their adult son. He was shot in the arm and jaw two years ago. Surgeons rebuilt his chin then using hardware, but now his body is rejecting it. And his chin has unfortunately, it's, it's even hard to mention, has split open. He hasn't been able to get it repaired because he doesn't have medical insurance and doctors just keep saying no. He can't find a job because of his desperate situation and appearance. So while the man who shot him faces a 10 year sentence, he feels like it ha he has the worst end of the deal. So we want to warn you, an image in this interview is disturbing. And it was a really, really tough wound. So you got shot in your arm, but you also got shot in your neck. Tell me what you're dealing with now, because you, you would think after all this time you'd be healed, but it's not the case at all. What's going on with you? My uh, body's re basically rejecting the metal and well, I've already had two, three, uh, three screws fall out. Um, honestly, I don't know how it's still in there, but it is uh, the plate. Um, it's fully exposed. It's still leaking. It's and just uh, yeah. And, and we're talking an open wound, and you haven't been able to get help because you haven't been able to get a job because you have a gaping wound on your chin, and you haven't been able to get medical insurance. Christy is his mom. You reached out to me because you are feeling desperate right now for your child, which any mom would. Tell me how tough this has been of being told no over and over for every type of insurance you can think about. For over two years having to battle um, my son being told no, and since he's of age and not covered under uh, our insurance, it's it's not a good situation. It, it's um, At times it's chaos. Uh, you feel like you would think the state that you live in would be willing to help you when you walk into their doors and they see the situation and you're told no. And so it's just been very tough. It sounds like an emotional battle. What is your hope? Are you hoping that perhaps a foundation or a doctor or somebody might come forward and, and help out a desperate situation that you're in? That is my hope for my son is that somebody would be willing to take his case on he he can't live like this for the rest of his life there's no possible way um he can't he can't logically not even that he, he can't get a job nobody's willing to hire him because he's a liability he can't leave this uncovered and and it, it with the hair that grows with the sweat with everything that he does it it comes off sometimes he'll walk around the house but it leaks. It's 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 not a, it's literally not a good situation. We need legitimate help. He needs the help. And I'm sure you're very concerned about infection when you've got a gaping open wound like that. He's actually been to the hospital uh, for bad headaches, and they give him medication for the headaches. But then they give him a cream for his wound. But that's it. That's literally it. Mm -hmm. And he never had migraines before. He gets them now. And there's, he, he, like, I've never had a migraine, so I don't know how to sympathize, but it, it, he has to have dark. He ends up by getting sick. Um, it, it's just, I, I, he needs help. Yeah. Well, it's a tough conversation, and we are going to have a much deeper one during Lunch for the Soul. So I hope people will join us for that and really get a better idea of what you're going through and, and perhaps how our community can come together to help you out. I really wish you all the best, and, and, and a call for help is out there. So thank you for taking time to talk to us, and, and I really hope you find the help you need. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And again, we'll continue that conversation at 1230 today online at fox26houston.com or our Facebook or YouTube pages. And I really hope that there's something positive ends up coming out of this family. They're really desperate. Well, we have such an amazing medical community. Mm -hmm. Is it going to take people writing letters, reaching out to different contacts at, at these hospitals to see if somebody will take him as a patient? I certainly think so. And there are a lot of different foundations, too. And I've been reaching out to them as well to see if we can find some help for him mm -hmm. because his life is on hold. He's stuck at his home, basically. He can't do anything. He can't make money. He can't do anything. Yeah. So I hope something happens. We're well, really praying for a positive update yes. from that family that you can bring us sometime. Thanks, Melissa.